let's take a look at another aspect of backend as a service. And this is the ability to store information into the backend storage for parse and convey. Uh, included in XZ6 is a sample program called the to-do list. And the to-do list includes a main form with a list view for the items that you'll add to your to-do list, an add button, a refresh button, and it's got a bind, live bindings to bind the data to the list view with data that's coming from the backend storage. It has a data module, and the data module has a convey, a convey provider where I've specified the, the app key, uh, the app secret, and master secret for my application. I'm going to use the same app key that I used in the convey push notification. And it's got this backend storage component that's connected to the convey provider. And the backend storage is the part that provides the ability to read and to write data to the convey backend storage. There's a readme file that's part of this sample application and the sample application is in the either Object Pascal or C++ mobile samples cloud backend as a service, and that's where you'll find it. And the readme file tells you to, that you can either use con convey as a backend service provider, or you can use the parse provider. In this case, I was already uh, connected to convey, so I put that information in the provider. And then the data module has the code behind it for updating any data from the server. So here's the backend storage provider to get the storage and create a, a list of all the objects. We won't go through all this code. It ships with a product. You can pull the names and the entity values for each of the items. And you can also, when you save back, either update a backend item or delete a backend item. And then uh, before delete and after post, do the update that's required for the list view. User interface again to add to, refresh, and if we select an item, a delete. The storage requires uh, SSL. So one of the things it tells us is for Windows, we need the SSL library which is you can get to from the, the doc wiki. And you can also go and get for iOS device development, libcrypto.a and libssl.a to add those in the subdirectory. In my case, I put them in the, the directory where the project is to be found. And in the case of the DLLs, I just have them on my path so they can be found. So if I run this application on Windows, then I've got my little user interface, I can click the item, uh, it gives me an edit box where I can say, for example, pick up the cleaning and we'll save this. And that save button will add that item to my convey storage. And let's add one more, uh, go to the grocery store. Now what's happening under the covers is it's going through the backend storage to update the storage over on the convey system. So let's go over to convey and let's go to the data star. We can either go to add-ons, data storage. What I've done is checked this little star so I get these little favorites up here so I can get to it faster. And here's the data store. And for the application Android push demo, I now have two items. I have the title pick up the cleaning go to the grocery store and the JSON for the actual information about the data and when it's created. So let's go back and choose one of these. So if we choose one, like go to the grocery store, now the delete button is here or the edit button for editing it. So we can delete an item. That will then use the backend data storage to go and delete that item. So if I go back to my data storage and do a reload, I now only have pick up the cleaning, the grocery store item has been deleted. So I'll leave it to all of you to 
look at in more detail the source code that comes with this sample project. Now let's go and use this on my iOS device. So we'll enable iOS and here's my iPhone. So here's my application. Let's go and run the to-do list app. Now remember I already stored this pick up the cleaning object in the storage. So if I hit the refresh button, it went out through the back end storage to convey pulled the objects that are available in the data store for this application and it updated the list. So here I've cleaned out the storage again on my convey storage. We'll bring up the to-do list app on my iPhone and we'll enter a to-do item. Pick up the cleaning. We'll save it. it. Says OK. We'll do a reload. And I've got the item pick up the cleaning. We can go back and add another item. Gas up the car. Save it. And we can choose one of these, like gas up the car, hit the delete button, delete that item, hit reload over and convey, and we've got the storage. There's much more you can do with backend as a service for Object Pascal and C++. Serena DuPont has uh, on her blog, uh, blogs.embarcador.com slash Serena DuPont, has additional blog articles about adding user account creation to your Bass Enable apps and doing user authentication. And those will be updated as part of the samples over time. So you can check out uh, additional information about how to use all the capabilities that are part of backend as a service in XZ6. Stephen Ball also has a blog post called Remote Object Persistence with Parsing Convey, where he has a video and a Code Central example that uh, takes Object Pascal objects and stores the instances uh, out in the storage and then gets them back again. So there's lots more to check out as it relates to examples and what you can do with backend as a service. I wanted to give you a, just an overview of a little part of what's in XZ6, and there's more to come in the future as well.